back to the Maxwell Stairs Beer Review. Tonight we're going to take a look at something simple. We're going to take a look at Molson Canadian's 6.0 Cold Shots. Their Cold Shots are come in uh, smaller 250 milliliter cans. Uh, however, they're both cheap and also come in 8 packs. Uh, so, like, compared to a standard 12 pack of beer, like a 12 pack craft beer can cost anything where between like 13 and $16 in our liquor stores. Um, like a generic brand like Moosehead or something might call or Molson uh, might cost I think they're twelve forty nine now maybe <laughs> I don't know exactly I know what the number is I don't hardly buy a Molson so um, their cold shots are twelve dollars for an eight pack but they're the catch is that they're two hundred fifty milliliters each uh, the bonus though is that they're six percent ABV so if you want to get something that's both uh, cheap and easy to swell this is actually not bad um flavor wise uh, we're about to give this one a look uh, this these came out a couple years ago i don't exactly know what the night year was i think it was 2009 um and are cheap serviceable beer so no preservative brewed Moncton, st john's canada union made etc return for refund where applicable i think they're i think 2009 is when these came out i'll look it up for this video Anyway, let's crack it open and take a look. Part of my Warsteiner glass here. Puffy, foamy head from the start. Hmm. Honestly, it's more head than I was expecting. Uh, of course, it's embellished a little by the size of the glass. And it's actually surprisingly dense. Hmm, let's give it a sniff. There's nothing coming off the top of that. Um, may have to wait for the head to die down. Uh, what I do pick up so far is maybe a touch of corn, like corn flakes. Based mainly like a, a corn smell. <laughs> There's a slightly fruity hop and aroma in there. Touch metallic. Mm. And also a bit musty. A bit like mothballs, not quite in the yeasty kind of way, but uh, not in the most pleasing kind of way. Hmm. Let's give it a taste. There's a mild sweetness to the back of it, but it's not very bitter. The combination of the malt and the hop flavor which is obviously um, somewhat low grade is gives it a taste of almost like wet cardboard metallic maybe a touch earthy definitely tastes of of uh, toasted grains and corn coming out in the back of it and now that the head's gone, the smell hasn't changed. The rest out here. It is, however, easy to drink. It goes down smooth and quite dry. If you were to compare this, it maybe doesn't quite taste as good as like the the regular Molson Canadian, but the flavors. Like the flavor is maybe a little sweeter, a little stronger. Obviously, more alcohol in this. More pronounced. Um, it, it basically tastes like they freeze dried uh, Molson or or iced it. You know, like they they made it into like an ice beer. It's definitely serviceable. And it does go down smooth. And does finish dry. I mean, 
It's like Molson only using a dry ice process, process or something. It tastes a little bit more chemically. Hmm. I think I can finish this review right now. It's it's not bad. I mean, if you were handed something cheap to swill, uh, this isn't a bad thing. If you're broke and you're looking for the cheapest beer possible, um, you know what? Eight pack for twelve dollars is not bad. Um, I remember that, that sometimes when these things are on sale, it's like 10 bucks for an 8-pack, which is actually really good. Um, to be honest, uh, this is one cheap crap beer that I've actually bought time and time again, just because it's serviceable and cheap. Um, if we're looking for something that we just want to drink, it's not bad. Uh, we could do a lot worse than this. Um, I'm going to give this one a 2.5 out of 5. It's a slight recommendation, but it's only a recommendation in, in, the, in the sense that if you want to try something that's dirt cheap, well, this is good. It's really worth a try for the purpose. Hmm. We're leaving some lacing. But yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd get this again, and I have gotten it several times before. Uh, it's nothing special. It just it does the trick. And if you're at a party, it's not a bad party beer. Um, 2.5 out of 5 for me. Give it a try if you want to. It's okay. But the main glory of it is that it's cheap beer. Anyway, thanks for watching Maxwell Star's Beer Review. I uh, hope you liked the review, and uh, there's more beer to come. Talk to you later.